So, staying on top of a string of recent carjackings in Baltimore City. And tonight, WJZ has a look at exclusive video showing the moments police say three teens shot at officers from a car they had just stolen before barricading themselves inside a home. This is a story that we brought to you last night as breaking news as that standoff played out. And tonight, we're hearing from the neighbors who were there while that confrontation unfolded. WJZ is live at 11. Christina Mendez spoke exclusively with the homeowners sharing that shocking footage. Christina, was there any damage left from that shooting? Vic, the suspect is accused of spewing shots right toward that police officer's patrol car in the process, not only hitting that vehicle, but several others in the neighborhood as well. A warning to you, to those of you watching this video, it may be disturbing as you will hear gunshots. Pop, 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 pop. A mother and daughter relive the moment a carjacking suspect shoots at a Baltimore City police officer right in front of their home. Ducking for cover, their security cameras paint a clear picture of what was happening on the other side of their walls. We saw where they came down the street and the guy actually stood on the seat, his head out the window, and shot at the police officers. For their safety, the two are only using their voice. Seconds before the shooting, the mother says her daughter just came through the front door. As a mother, I don't even want to think about it. What if? And I could only empathize with other mothers who go through this. You know, it hits so close to home that you feel the pain. You you feel the anxiety, you feel the stress, you feel the hurt. While the family weighs the wounds you can't see, damage from the shooting stares back from the street. Now my car is not drivable. The car owner found a flat from a bullet. Parked nearby, a different neighbor's car has a gaping hole in the door. And city police say one of their patrol cars was also hit. It looked like it was um, a single slug. But it did um, considerable damage, you know, putting a hole in the, um, all the way through. The department says officers would spot the stolen SUV a few streets away. Three people went inside a home, causing what police describe as an hours long barricade situation. Eventually, a 16 year old, 17 year old, and an 18 year old were taken into custody and now await charges. You work hard for what you have, and here they are just. Joyriding. I mean, where's the accountability? Where are the parents? Police do tell us that three weapons were found at that scene. As far as these suspects involved, police also tell us that the two youngest have priors for stealing vehicles, while the oldest does not. I'm reporting live from BPD headquarters tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ. Christina, thank